Hey, what's up everyone? CTN Technology News here, and today I'm going to be doing a rumor video about the upcoming HTC One M9, which is going to be the 2015 successor to the current HTC One M8 smartphone. So, if you don't really know about the HTC One M8, it's one of the very best Android flagship phones right now, it's also one of the most underrated, it's got an amazing design, it's definitely up there with, you know, the Galaxy Alpha, the Sony Xperia Z3, the LG G3, all of the Android phones of that class, and honestly, it's one of my favorite Android flagship flagship phones to date. So the question is, what can HTC do to actually improve on the design and the formula of the M8 and actually release a new smartphone that has a whole bunch of extras? Well, basically in this video, I'm going to be talking about what I expect to see in the M9 smartphone based on rumors and leaks and what we know so far. So for starters, let me talk about the release date. The M9 is expected to launch in the spring of 2015, just like the M8 was launched in the spring of 2014, because HTC generally likes to show off their new phones around the same time as Mobile World Congress. Mobile World Congress next year is going to be in early March, like, you know, March 1st through March 6th in that range. So if HTC plans to show off the M9 there, it's probably going to get maybe a mid or maybe late March release date, which, you know, that does make sense considering the previous timetable of previous HTC One smartphones. Now when it comes to the price, the current HTC One M8 is priced around $650, so I really can't see the M9 going too far above or below that. I mean, it would be one thing if HTC managed just to get the price just a little bit lower, you know, dropping it to maybe $600 or $550, but I really can't see it going maybe below $500, I think that's just about the limit. And obviously that price is going to be decreased when you get it with a two-year contract. I mean, I mean, this phone is a pretty good designed phone, and it's got some pretty high-end materials, so in a lot of ways, it does make sense that HTC is going to be keeping the price a little bit higher. So let me go ahead and talk about what I expect to see in this smartphone in terms of specs. So a lot of recent rumors and leaks have pegged the HTC One M9 as having a Snapdragon 810 processor clocked at 2.5 GHz and then also 3 GB of RAM. That would give the smartphone some much needed speed and that would probably be about on par with other you know, current 2015 smartphones of the time. I do think that those specs make a lot of sense and I think we can definitely expect to see that. Other than that, I also think that the HTC One M9 might have a Category 6 LTE radio which would make you know, call quality really great and it also might have have a pretty unusual design. So a lot of recent reports have pegged the M9 as having a sort of aluminum silicon hybrid design that actually looks pretty nice and I actually can't wait to see if this is actually what it's going to look like. Now, if the HTC One M9 does sort of look like this, it's going to look like a really cool smartphone, and I would say it's going to probably be the best Android phone in terms of design of 2015. I mean, obviously, another company could sort of one-up HTC, but for now, the HTC One M8 and the HTC One have held the design crown for quite a while now, so I think that the M9 will continue that tradition. Anyways, I think that the HTC One M9 is going to be a really great smartphone. I'm definitely excited as to what HTC has planned, but let me know what you're excited to see in the M9 in the comments below. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and I will see you next time. Bye!